Hi, this tutorial explains how you can create a wheel with WP opt-in wheel. Mind you, this tutorial is mostly relevant for the paid version of the plugin. After you have installed the plugin, go to the settings page, which looks like this. The first tab you see is general settings. You can create a wheel using WooCommerce, but it's not mandatory. If you don't use WooCommerce, that means you'll have to manually enter the prizes your visitors can win. If you do use it, coupons will be automatically created by WooCommerce. You will have the option to say how long the coupons should be valid. You can use that setting to create a sense of urgency for your visitors. Finally, you can choose to keep a log file that logs all the opt-ins and play results. The next tab is Integrations. Here you can decide what tools you want Optin Wheel to integrate with. Click on your desired tool and enter the settings to activate it. In this tutorial, we will work with MailChimp, so we have entered our MailChimp API key. The next tab is where we will start creating the actual wheel. In the first step, Data, you can give your wheel a name and choose whether you want to capture data and if so, how. If you don't want to capture email addresses, you can go for the first option. If you only want to do third-party processing, for example, to push the data to Salesforce or other external software, select Zapier. If you select WordPress, all data will be stored in your own WordPress database. However, bear in mind that if you plan to capture a large number of email addresses, it's better to use an external service such as MailChimp. The number of options in this list depends on the selection you made in the tab Integrations. You will only see the options for which you have filled in the required information. Depending on the tool you select, a third field will appear where you can choose the list to which the visitor's information should be added. In the next step, Design, you can pick a theme. We offer beautiful existing themes that suit a variety of preferences. If you don't find the exact theme you're looking for, you have the option to customize your wheel. You can customize most colors and the background pattern. A preview of your changes in real time is displayed on the right. Step 3, Form Builder, will look different depending on the integration you have selected in Step 1, Data. Here you can choose what information your visitors have to fill out before they can spin the wheel. Simply select Include to make sure this field is displayed on the form. Select Required if the field is, if the field is mandatory before playing. If you want the fields to appear in a different order, you can simply drag and drop them. Step 4 is where you can define each slice of the wheel, as well as playing chances. First of all, you define the chance your visitors have of winning something. If you're feeling generous, you can set the chance to 100%, which means your visitors will always win something. Every wheel consists of 12 slices. On this page, you can decide what slices you will offer. The first step is to determine the type of slice. Whether it's a losing slice, a coupon code or a hyperlink to your product, you simply select it here. Notice that you'll also have to fill out a separate chance for every winning slice. When you do that, make sure the chance total is 100% as seen at the bottom. To recap, you have a global chance of winning which will decide whether or not your visitor wins the game. If they win, the individual chances are used to decide on which winning slice the visitor will land. The column text displays the text that will be visible on each slice. Step 5 contains all the other settings of the wheel. In the content settings, you can define all the sentences your visitor might see. If you have a multilingual site, simply create different wheels and translate the sentences here. Next off is the behavior setting. 
The anti-cheat checkbox allows you to check the validity of email addresses so that most fake email addresses are filtered out. We recommend using this setting if you want quality leads in your email list. If you're more interested in handing out prizes than collecting emails, you can leave this setting as is. Next, you can hide the wheel on mobile if you want. You can also decide on what pages, when and how often you want the wheel to appear before the visitor gives it a try. Furthermore, you can decide whether a visitor can play again if they lose and whether winners can play again when they come back later using their same email address. Then there is also the email setting. The system can send the winner an email with their prize. Furthermore, you can choose not to display prizes on the screen. This can function as an extra reason for people to give you a valid email address. Finally, we have the integrations. If you want to do some third-party processing, for example, to push the data to Salesforce or other external software, you can use the webhooks here. Once you're done, click Save. Your wheel is now ready. The wheel will be listed in the tab Wheels. You can click on the Statistics button to see the number of views and opt-ins. You can also deactivate the wheel if you want. Other options are to edit, delete or duplicate the wheel. The duplicate option can be useful if you want to use the same wheel in two languages, for example. Finally, the ID of the wheel, in this case 19, can be used in a short code if you want to include the wheel on your page rather than use it as a pop-up. As you can see, there are plenty of options to play around with while creating your own wheel. This is an example of what your wheel could look like. Good luck and have fun!